Welcome back to We're Back. And we are here in this City Builder, progressing with our tutorial, learning quite a lot and building a really nice city. And I just love this view. And there we go, the bikes that we've actually um, unlocked in the last episode. But coming back here, we are now in the path to uh, build a water mill. So that will give me uh, energy. So when do we need that next to the river? I hope could be in the coast as well as we are not close to the river. Uh, water mill should be built by the river. Oh, it doesn't let me build it in here. And three squares distance from the road. But I could actually bring this over there if I bring that road in. So let's do that. We also have some bridges available for us. I will bring this, I don't know, maybe we go all the way there. And then we go for a water mill in here. Oh, look at that. This looks so cool. I love it. So give of power. We have plenty of power at the moment. We need more workers, by the way. And I think we might build on this side. I think that's probably what I will do. Let's go two and two. I'll bring well, I'll give them more space actually this time. We'll build We've been building three by three, or three by whatever, and now I'll build four by whatever that is. Let's just see how that goes. Now we have more workers, that's good. The next step is water can also give you food. If you're playing on a ma map with water, build a dock. You can do either in the sea or in the river. I think I use this water from here to see how that looks like. A dock. Oh. I like that. Oh, we have some boats and we even locked the fisherman house as well. As you may have noticed, to get the energy and food from water, you'll need a lot of food. Check your wood production by hovering over the wood indicator, which we might need more actually. I wish there was a, a better way to, to get wood. Seems like we don't get enough. Uh, we are getting wood from this area. I wonder if we could add another lumber camp around here. We'll be outside of the five radius, hopefully. And let's see. Let's take a look. So lumber camp. Be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll have to go over there, more or less. But we also need a road coming that way. <clears throat> Maybe what I'll do is basically bring a road over there. And hopefully this will be enough. Yeah, I think it is enough. No, you have one number camp in that five radius. Oh, there is one just over there. I forgot about that one. So maybe we need something at the back here. And we can bring that road all the way over there. Get a lumber camp in here. There we go. I won't build a uh, lumber camp cabin because we don't need, we have enough power. So that'll be all right. Now, if you build a house near the dock with access to the water, they will be transformed into fisherman house, which will give you food. Oh, really? Just like build house around here. Is that what you're saying? Oh, it is. Oh, hold on. That looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Look at that. It looks so cool. All right. Gives me 45 and two workers 
that consumes one energy. And net zero or less pollution should be built by sea or river, one or more dock in six radius. There we go. That's awesome. So there is a point in building houses by the by the the water in here. This looks amazing. Let's see what you need to do to get wealthy village house from village house. Click with the magnifying glass and pull off your village house. Is that a village house? Yes, it is. And then in the list of possible updates, click on wealthy village house. So it looks like we need 1300 people and one or more food services in a five radius, which we don't have. So first you need to unlock 1300 and then you need food service given by a mini market or a local market, leisure by a park, bar or football pitches, and thanks tea given by other houses, so they need to have a house nearby. So first we need more population, then I think we can grow this way as well. And I would like to bring this over here, over there, and hopefully again over this. I do want to bring your housing in here and I'll leave that open just so we can build more fishing villages. And by the way, this goes all the way there. Okay, wealth village, house, mini market, local market, village bar, and chapel unlocked. Near some of your village house, build a local market or a mini market. The local market needs fields nearby while the mini market can be built anywhere so let's oh there's a lot of options now um education local market mini market so the local market needs a farm nearby so i can build in here but i could build in there for example for example, here, that'll make a lot of people happy, I believe, or there even. I'll build it in here. Oh, they're updating. They are updating and local market can be built anywhere. So I will probably build this in here, I guess, or maybe in there. You have zero out of eight farms oh that should be the mini market yeah i'll, I'll build in the corner i think that will have a a better range and that will get like every single one in here maybe just not that corner over there but what we could do is build another one over there why not and they will update cool Wealthy village house. There we go. Next one would be suburb house. Oh, this is getting quite nice. Very good. Now you see how your house seems to be of better quality, with a more colorful roof and flowers in the gardens. But be careful. Ensure you always have adequate food and every and energy production. We do have food, although running low at the moment. Um, and energy, we have enough. The happiness of your inhabitants depends entirely on the type of house they have. Hover over the happiness icon in the top right corner to see how new houses increase the overall happiness of your city. So we are 9.2 happiness at the moment. And the wealthy village gives 11. Landlord's house as well. So that's pretty good. Villa is 13 actually. That's pretty nice. The big step now will be, get, will be to get skilled work. For that, you'll need suburb house, which needs schools, which in turn need iron. So let's make an iron mine near the iron deposit. You'll find two groups of iron deposits on the map. And then we we'll need iron, we need school and suburb house. Cool, where is iron mine? We need 1700 population before we actually do that i'm actually struggling a little bit with wood at the moment let's hope we don't have any major issues with that 
I will build more housing over here though. Actually, let's try that again. And I'll build some roads over there, connect everything. And in here, I would love to have another park. I'll build one over there. And maybe we do the market stuff. Over here, we don't have enough food. No, we need food. I think we can potentially get it over there. We need five on distance from road. One, two, three, four, five. This would be the distance we can reach. And one, two, three, four, five. So I'll go here. I'll do this first and I'll build a road over there. And this one, one, two, three, four. I could actually go for these over here without any problems. Oh, I did housing. No, 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 not housing. <laughs> That's not what I want there. Just fields, please. Okay, more food. And we need even more food, so I'll just group this over there. There we go. Getting a little bit better now. What we could do, the farmhouse, well, we have this one here, might be too close to others, maybe. I could actually build this right here. Uh, you have, all right, I need more fields in here let's do it and then farmhouse go there and we build fields around it and i might do a little bit more in here and add an extra road in there good one two three four five so this would be all right but now anything further than that we would need a road so we have more food, we have more people, everything is balancing, population is growing. I also want to see if we could actually add another tenant farm in here. And I don't see why not. And maybe a grain silo, because this will be quite good for us. Uh, two or more farmhouse. I think this would be perfect around here. There we go. And hopefully this gives us more and more food. Now, people. We need more people. These haven't upgraded yet. We need... What do we need there? A food service in this area. I think food service might be quite expensive, to be honest. This one produces... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, costs a thousand, because that's quite a lot, actually. And consumes a lot as well. Local market, it's half. Eh, I could go for this one. In here. I hope. Oh, I just didn't notice that we had a house in here. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't see that. I'll add another house in here and we will hopefully grow this. I also would like to see if we can get them in there and see how they look like, if they change. I was like this fish house, fish village or how do they call it? Fisherman House. They look pretty cool. So, 1700, right? Is our next target. Um, isn't. Yeah, Iron Mine, 1700. And 83 out of 10 wealthy village house. That's what we need. So, what I'm thinking then is that we might build this area and. Oops, that's not what I want. 
I'll bring some roads into here and maybe some roads into there. Now what I'm concerned about this is that we are getting into the area for wood production but at the same time we have so much wood in here that that wouldn't be a problem I, I would say which then brings me to the question is it possible to get a lumber camp in here? It is over there. Alright, I'll, I'll do that. I'll bring this over here, I believe. So we get a little bit more wood. That is a lot of trees. It's very dense in here. Okay, we have those roads in there. I will connect then but let me see two and two and two let's build it over there bring a road around here and probably build more housing here so what we might need over this area as well why is this not village house are they missing one more leisure? So we need a park. Let's do this one then. Maybe we go, I don't know, over there. There they are, upgrading. Good. Keep the good work. <laughs> I don't know if we need another one in here, but I think we need a food service. Yeah, I thought so. So, mini market. That would be what we do in there. There we are. Now, I wonder why these roads don't have any trees. I would love to, to have that. Um, this one, ready to upgrade, but you do not produce enough food. Ooh. Alright, that's a big problem. So, let's fix that. Or five. And I'll basically do this over here. And what I'll do, I'll bring a road over there, all across. And I might do this as well. So we can keep going. And then, yeah, I'll probably do a farmhouse around here. If we go all the way there, we can basically build this over there. Maybe another tenant farm at the corner. And could do another landlord house to be honest this will produce 200 more and we could actually have these four or more tenant farms we have three so let me get another one in here and we try that again there we go this should increase your food production hopefully and can I have another silo in there? That would be awesome if we could. Two or more farmhouse. I have one there, one there. I could build another one here, to be honest. So let's do it. Okay, went up a little bit. And we are now... Ooh, look at this. Looking like a little city in here. Waterfront city. Um... 1800 which is more than we know <laughs> like i'm just looking at other things and forgot completely forgot about the iron mine and so many things have been unlocked so where can we build this i have no idea where the natural resources are oh is this yeah this is iron over there Anywhere nearby that we can do it? Uh, yeah, over here. 
I might do it on this one first, to be honest. Bring a road in here and over there. What are you complaining about? You need more farms. Oops. Let's fix that for you. Hopefully this makes you happier. Nice road, industrial road or rural road. Uh, is this a farm? Yeah. Ah, oh, in a one to one radius. So what I do, I think I'll remove this and I'll actually... How many do I need? I forgot, but I'll take a look. Get there and this needs three or more farm. There we go. This will be happier that way. Cool, we need to go there. So let's bring a road all the way over here. And hopefully, yeah, I want to go through here. We go all the way over there. And I might just remove this for now. Now we go here, iron mine, and there we go. Hope this is enough. Good. Iron miners house and what? To increase your iron production, you can build houses near the iron mine. That will be transformed into iron miner's house. Although the living conditions are pitiful, this house needs to be next to the road and get five iron miner's house. So, if they need to be next to the road, we will definitely need another road in here. How many? Five. I will do three over there, three over here. And we'll see how they... Oh, they look quite cute as well. <laughs> Not what you want to hear, but they, they look pretty nice, actually. Look at the possible evolutions of house and click in the evolution for suburb house. We can still get three-story Iron Miner's house. With 9,000 population, that'll take a while. And 30 Iron Miner's house. All right. So... You want me to look at the evolution to suburb house. If you look at this, we need one school and 1800 population. We can get school. School is over here and it actually has a pretty good reach. I think one over here might be enough. But we need more iron. So we need to wait a little bit. How much do we need? A hundred. All right, that's quite a lot. I could actually go right here. Although some houses would be missing, everything in the middle here would be upgraded. And I think that's probably a better approach than anything else. So there we go. And they are all upgrading. Look at that. Lovely. So, education, food services, high density, it will be your central houses that will be transformed and leisure, given by parks, sports building, culture buildings, etc. So, if I look at this wealthy suburb house, 4,100 parking lot. Great. <laughs> oh, yes, great. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> parking lot um, yeah I think we've done that suburb house yeah build a school near our town all right done make a suburb house appear all right done provide skilled worker I would say not work but their living conditions are worse than those of wealthy village house Click on one of our suburbs to find how happy its inhabitants are. Spoiler, 10 compared to 11. All right. One less happiness over there. Although you can build your city however you want, you can also win the level by fulfilling all the achievements of the chosen path. So you can unlock the next level. Press N to see how you're doing. 
oh, all right, we have a lot of things in here. So maybe that's our, our goal. We get all the achievements and then we are done. So we need sport. We need multi sport court. We need village bars and we need village bar two story. All right. And we'll lock this new bike model. That's awesome. Um, all right. So let's go back. Not one of possible improvements to the wooden hut. Note one of possible improvements. Called poor suburbs. For this, you need to build a square condominium and place houses nearby. And by the same token, these houses are not the best quality and living conditions, where they consume few resources. Get poor suburbs. Know that only wooden huts will become poor suburbs, not other more advanced houses. I think this is a wooden hut. Yeah, it is. So maybe we can get some sort of poor suburb around here. Let's try it. So what we need? We need... Um, for this you need to build a square condominium and place houses nearby. What do you mean by a square condominium? Is it like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I hope that's not too close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I think we're right. And then we do housing in there. And they are already upgrading. Why? <laughs> and you, you are a village house. So, what do you need to upgrade your village house? You would need... More residents around that. So, I didn't get it. So, look at the possible improvements called pool suburbs. You need to build a square condominium and a place house nearby. What I can try to do is basically remove this and maybe remove this actually I'll remove everything and try again let's see square how is that looking all right can we go for poor suburb um one or more Square condominium in a three radius. I I don't understand that. What is a condominium? Is it this is like a type of house or service? Not a school. Plant warehouse sawmill. Square condominium. All right. That now makes a little bit more sense. Can build one over there, and they've upgraded. All right. I'll get several of those. Cool. All right, now we have poor subs. To advance the green areas path, you must increase the green areas and you unlock different types of parks, such as the paved area, the gravel area or the floral park. For the floral park, you'll need a lot of green areas. So for now, build a gravel area. Let's go into the park and build a gravel area. Which I'll probably build in the middle here. Interesting. All right, I guess it's good. Um, time to replace wood fire for electricity. In order to build a coal plant, you first need to build a coal mine. On this map, all the subsoil has coal, so you can build it whatever you want. And then build a coal mine. Alright, where do we build a coal mine? This is getting quite busy over there, so think about moving things this way. Maybe I'll bring a road over here and we build... A coal mine over there. We need more population, by the way. So, not happening yet. 
I'll do more housing over here and over there. All right, they look quite nice, I would say. And we can increase suburbs in this area as well. Now, I still want to do this and potentially these, I believe, if I got everything right. And then we bring a road through here. All right. Now, I'll probably do another... I think that was a dock, wasn't it? And dock, yeah. And I want to build this in here. Why not? So we have more fisherman house in here. And actually, I'll stop there and build all of this here. And there we go. This is a lot more interesting now. Love it. And now we've unlocked the coal mine. Okay, we are progressing really, really well. And I am quite happy with this. But before we go there, I want to build a football pitch. And I think this will be quite interesting. I want to build it over here. Why not? These people will definitely be happy <laughs> and they will upgrade. Nice. So there we go. We have a football field over there. Uh, at the moment, we don't need more woods. We don't need more workers. We don't need more um, electricity or we need more power, actually. So what do we... Oh, we could do the water mill. So let's go for... What is that? This one. Water mill. Is that a problem? Yes, it is a problem having one nearby. I will build this. Could build it here. Could build it there. I think this one will be good, but we need a root in the air. There we go. And then we go back in the air. Get a water mill, get it there, and we have more power again. Nice. And oh, look at this. This is so cool. Let's look on the ground. So, so nice. And with that, that'll be all for today. I hope you're enjoying this new game. Um, we're back. And let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any ideas, suggestions, if you want to see more of these or not, leave a comment, leave a like, and maybe consider watching the video on your screen right now, because I think you might like that. So, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!